friends from South Asia, welcome to Tom Taka with me, Mishu Rahman. I'm very excited to present you my guest for tonight's show, and that is none other than the managing director of a leading group of companies known as Anwar Group. He's a young entrepreneur and has led one of the premium business organizations in the country. I'm going to tell you all about it, but first let me introduce you to Mr. Hossein Khaled. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Um, so I was just telling our friends from South Asia that you're a leading uh, business leader. Um, you have headed the Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, a few years back, and you actually celebrated 400 years of Dhaka. Let's just True. start with that before I go into everything about your business. Certainly. Uh, what was it like organizing that event? Well, it was certainly an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, the best part of it was that end of the show, uh, what we were able to bring together was people from 26 nations who had come to Dhaka uh, to attend. Of course, we were also celebrating 50 years of Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, so there was a big conference, an international conference. Uh, and a part of that was the celebration of the 400 years of Dhaka in terms of culture, in terms of trade, in terms of business, even in terms of fashion. And uh, I'm sure if you remember, uh, we had organized this program, uh, this cultural program. One of the nights was held in the Lalbagh Fort, um, a very heritage site. From Absolutely, uh, the heritage site, one of the most prominent heritage sites of Bangladesh, as a matter of fact. Uh, what we were able to uh, project was the 400 years of journey mm -hmm. of trade and commerce through fashion. So it was almost two hour long fashion show, mm -hmm. but it was almost like on a skit. So people enjoyed every piece of it. Right. Uh, usually fashion shows are very short, mm -hmm. but this was so well done thanks to uh, all the people who had worked for us. They put on such good talents in it. It was just fantastic. Yes, it was very colorful and I'm sure uh, in the last one decade, that will be one of the highlights of the I'm sure. Dhaka uh, happening scene. Right? I hope so. It's absolutely, it was but the it other was good thing happened. actually came out of it was that uh, uh, Lalbagh Fort was never utilized in the way that we had mm -hmm. projected it or we had portrayed it. Right. Since then, Dhaka Lalbagh Fort has been used for the same purpose in the same manner with lights and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, just the same way that they would do in Delhi or in other locations. So nowadays, uh, Actually, it's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it might be the city corporation itself who's uh, basically promoting Lalbagh Fort right. uh, with lights and sounds. So. so you actually told them about the opportunity exactly. that was there. Exactly. We opened up doors and I'm glad we've, we have been able to do so. Yes, it was fantastic. So congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. You, I think, were the youngest president of the chamber, wasn't it? Absolutely. So what was it like being elected there? Was it very challenging? <sighs> Extremely challenging. A lot of pressure. A lot of expectations. Mm -hmm. Uh, most importantly, uh, two of the things that always uh, stayed on the back of my mind was uh, the seniors who had faith in me, who uh, believed that, okay, I could do it, so I had to prove to them. Mm -hmm. And second, I had to prove to the younger generation that there was a lot of room for them to come forward. Mm -hmm. We needed them to come forward. It's the second generation. As a matter of fact, we are the third generation in business, so we wanted the younger generation to come forward and that there was a lot of scope for them to come forward and contribute to the economy. Mm -hmm. So where, did you already hit 30 or were you? I turned 32. 32. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so now your age is revealed. Well, my, I'm 35 now. So. But, right. Did you take up the helm of the business as the managing director of Anwar Group before that? No. As a matter of fact, uh, even though it's a family owned company, mm -hmm. uh, we actually have a very uh, interesting concept in the family that um, starting from a very young age, starting from grade six or grade seven, we get involved in the business. Really? Uh, yes. Doing uh, what? Part time. Making photocopies? Uh, <laughs> well, kind of. If that's what you're good at, that's what you would be asked to do. Uh, we would be given a small amount of pocket money. Uh, we would do some, uh, on a part time basis, we would go to the office or if it's a particular job that we were assigned that we would wow. do. Uh, from a very young age, I had always that nag for cars. Uh, so my father gave me uh, or asked me to work in the transport and logistics department. Mm -hmm. So before I used to go to work at seven in the morning, uh, of obviously at that in those days there wasn't much traffic. Mm -hmm. So at seven in the morning I would take the cars to the fuel pump, get them refueled, oh, assign them uh, their daily jobs, 
And uh, basically, I would go off to work. Mm -hmm. Then after, or not work, but to school. And then I would go back to work after school. And then basically to retake uh, the, the, on the job itself, mm -hmm. what logistics they had to perform, whether that was done or not, what was happening next day, the maintenance record. So I was always involved. I, that's where I got started. That's like and a great orientation in management, wasn't it? It is, it is. And uh, the best thing is we were never, as owners of the company, we were never made to feel that we are owners of the company. Right. We were just sitting there as any other employee. Mm -hmm. And we were made to sit with them, not in the managing director's room or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually then, when I was in grade nine, I was given uh, the charge for purchases. Mm -hmm. So it was all group purchases that were coming through me. And eventually, we actually uh, moved from one department to other. By the, by the time we graduated, we knew the whole company, mm -hmm. how the manufacturing works, how the service works, uh, how customer satisfaction is supposed to be at. So all of that uh, put together, by the time we graduated, we actually had the hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you could tell our South Asian friends about some of the businesses that you're actually into. Uh, Anwar Group of Industries is now uh, going to celebrate its 176 years of its foundation. Uh, it was started by a great grandfather. Uh, obviously, he was at that point of time probably a tradesman. Mm -hmm. uh, but then my grandfather started uh, or went into manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, he started with, uh, uh, well, he was making uh, combs and buttons out of bull horns wow. in those days. Uh, I don't know if you still remember, if it's in your days or not, but <laughs> uh, certainly uh, buttons and combs used to be made out of bull horns at one point okay. of time. And he was actually exporting from Bangladesh to Mumbai to Sri Lanka.